Morning, friends. Hope you're doing well. I'm back with another bit of our story for Kids Club this week, the story of God's family. And I am back in my office telling you this part of the story because it's a little bit loud outside with uh, the workers fixing the sidewalk out, outside of the church. So I hope you don't mind hearing the story from inside my office again. But at least I did remember to bring my story bag. I can't forget, guys. Thank you for reminding me and helping me remember to bring my story bag each time so I can share a little bit of our story of God's family together. I never want to forget my story bag. That would just be terrible. I would feel so bad about that. Well, you guys have seen a lot of this stuff several times now as you've been learning the story of God's family. Abraham's binoculars, baby Isaac's baby bottle. God's family kept growing and growing as God promised that they would. Joseph's colorful coat that he loved to wear. So beautiful. God's family went to a new place, didn't they? And they became builders, working for the king of Egypt. But did the king treat them fairly? No, the king didn't treat God's family very well at all. And so God sent someone to rescue his family. And that person's name was Moses. Moses heard God's voice when he looked at the beautiful light in the burning bush and he helped rescue God's people and bring them up out of Egypt. And then last week, friends, I think I still have this in, in my bag, we talked about the long journey that God's family went on after they left Egypt, didn't we? And we looked at our map showed some of the things that God's family had to do when they were on their long journey through the wilderness. A long, long journey. Longer than any journey that we've ever been on. And they had to walk the whole way. They didn't have cars to ride in. But everywhere God's family went on their journey, God gave them everything they needed. And there were some really special things that happened then. Glad I kept my, kept my map in my story bag. Well, friends, after God's family was on their journey for a long, long time, they began to get so tired. They were so tired, friends. They needed to take a rest. And so God brought them to a big, tall mountain. Everybody do this to make a big, tall mountain. God brought them to a big, tall mountain and said, why don't you take a rest right here? Set up your tents and camp. Relax, take a nice rest at the foot of this mountain. And so that's what the people did. And while they were resting there by the mountain, God spoke to Moses again. And God said, Moses, I have a special present to give to you. Would you like to see it? If you would like to see your special present, Come on up to the tippy top of the big tall mountain and I'll meet you there and give you this special present. So Moses was so excited. Friends, I know that you get so excited when there is a special present waiting for you. Oh, I love presents. Maybe you get a, a special present on your birthday or around Christmas time, which is coming up soon. Oh, it's so exciting. And so Moses climbed up. Everybody do this. Pretend you're climbing up a big, tall mountain. Have you ever climbed up a mountain before? Moses climbed all the way and when he got to the tippy top of the mountain, he looked around and he could see the whole world around him. It was really beautiful. And God was there at the very top of that mountain. And God said, Moses, you're here. Are you ready for your special present? And Moses said, yes, show me what it is. And then God showed Moses the special present that he had made 
for his family. God gave his family his special words. His special words. Friends, back in Moses' day, when people had very important words to, to share with someone, they often engraved them or, or wrote them into a big rock, a stone, like stone tablets, kind of like this. That way, the words would last forever and ever. People could hang on to them like a very special note that you might get from someone, except this kind of note would last forever and ever. Now, that's really neat, but what else made these words so special, such a special gift for Moses and the people? Well, the thing about these words from God are, these were words that Moses could look at and read any time he was in trouble or needed help. And these words from God would help Moses know what to do any time Moses was lost or confused or didn't know the right thing to do, he could read these words written in his own language and know what God wanted him to do. It was such a special gift, friends. And Moses and God, there meeting together at the tippy top of that mountain, they made a special promise to each other that day. One of the most special promises that has ever been made ever before. God promised Moses to always, always take care of his family and be a loving father to his family. And Moses promised God that God's family would always listen to God's special words and they would always worship him. A promise is kind of like a puzzle, friends, isn't it? When you make a promise with a friend, you hold up your side of the promise, and your friend holds up their side of the promise, and then, like the, just like a puzzle, the pieces fit together and the promise is kept. Now, can I show you something special about this very special promise that God and Moses made together? You see, when God loves and takes care of his family. And when God's family, when God's family listens to God, all of God's special words and worships God, something very, very special happens, friends. Just like a puzzle, those two pieces of that special promise come together and the whole wide world can see God's heart. Can see God's heart, can see how much love is in God's heart for all the people in the whole world. And this was all part of God's special plan, friends. I hope you can remember that, that story about God's promise and about how we can see God's heart, God's family, was not done with their adventures yet, friends. I've got to tell you the next bit of our story next week about something else that happened while God's family was still camping out by the mountain. So I hope you'll join me again next week for the next part of our story. If you have an activity pack, go ahead and, and get it out and do your activity today. Hope you enjoy it. See you later, friends. Have a great week. Goodbye.